Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports News Briefing for Monday the 2nd of September. The local media headlines today and it's nearly the end of the tourist season. Time to get back to the serious monkey business of what's really going on in Cornwall. Or should that be the serious monkey business of what companies based in Birmingham would do to Cornwall if they got their hands on our car parks? It turns out that when Cornwall Council bosses said they wanted to devolve car park management out of County Hall, they weren't thinking of Cornwall's town or parish councils at all. Oh no, it's all about money and how best to collect it all in Truro. We might also find out a bit more this week about what's going on with the huge Truro Newtown project. It's supposed to provide homes for 10,000 people, but when will construction actually start? Who's going to pay for it and how will it be heated? And talking of heating things, what about Cornwall's pensioners? Last year, the Conservatives gave all of them £300 a year in winter fuel allowance. Now Labour wants to take it away from most. Congratulations to Cornwall Council Cabinet member Louis Gardner, who's got a new job as a board member with a pan-regional quango. Just don't talk about devolution to Cornwall. There's concern in Polzeth, where children playing in the sand produced a dangerously deep hole. And well done, Truro City. I remain a sceptic about this huge gamble with taxpayers' money, but even I say, so far, so good. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and returned to that story about the town's new domestic waste collection arrangements, which didn't work very well at all at the height of the tourist season. Now the town's deputy mayor says that when the town is full of holidaymakers, County Hall needs to empty the bins at least once a week. The BBC warned of reduced RNLI patrols now that there aren't as many tourists to worry about. The Falmouth packet had a list of pubs that are for sale. And finally, Cornwall Live couldn't resist the urge to jump on the Oasis bandwagon. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.